Well, let's take this white one. This white one here is going to go up high. Let's go ahead and get up there. I'll get all set up and get ready to go so I can install that swag. Yeah, I just wanted to show you this. You're going to crack up with this. Here's the loft area up here, okay? And on this particular one, there's just a little ladder here. I don't know if I showed you this or not before, but it was very difficult to get up there. See that hook, that little hand grabber right there? There's one there, and there's one up there, and there used to be one over here. Well, I ended up taking that off, and look what I put there instead. A nice stainless steel grab bar. Grab bars are for to uh, bathroom areas, for toilet, around toilets and stuff like that. But I put the grab bar right there. So it's easier to grab on there. You can hang on and hang on as you're sliding your hand up without getting these little hand holds. You got something like that. There's an idea for you. All right, time to get busy and get up there. Okay, I wasn't going to show you this part, but it's really tricky getting up there with just one hand. And that's why I put that grab bar on there. So I've got to grab onto this here, this candle, and this at the same time. Just slide my hand up. If I just had those grab things, I'd have to raise my hand off and try to grab it. And it's very difficult to do. Okay. That's how I'm going to get up there using that grab bar. Is this an approved handrail? or ladder system for loft. I'm not sure. I don't think it is, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You know, I'm not going to make too much of this. I'm going to I'm not even going to measure stuff. I'm going to eyeball it. And first off, I'm going to hold this up there and see about where I want it. I don't want it too close to this edge over here, you know, up against the, the wall, but I don't want it too far out because I want to kind of mimic about right in here. Okay, so that's about where I'm going to have it. I'm going to hold that right there. Now, what I could do is get a tape measure and measure the very center of that if I wanted, you know, but I can eyeball that. And I got my drill bit here. Because this is sheetrock here, there's corner bead here, corner bead there, half inch sheetrock, and that makes it another, you know, with the corner bead on here, a little bit more than a half inch. And so I'm just going to go ahead and drill this up there, put it on high. I'm going to get away from it because I don't have my goggles on. And I'm going to try to drill up into the wood now. Okay, be careful with these drill bits, the small drill bits, you don't want to push up too hard on them because if you do, you could snap your drill bit off. Okay, I'm just going to screw that puppy in. Once you get a pilot hole too, that kind of helps you keep this straight. There's no way you're going to take this and try to screw that up by hand through there and then into the wood without doing a pilot hole or something, without maybe bending this with a pair of pliers or your hand or something. Okay? And I can feel it going into the wood. Just taking this as a, a thumb turn there. And see, I don't have to do anything. And I got it tight now. And the hook happens to be going this way. If you wanted it facing out the other way, see, you'd have to unscrew that a little bit and go that way, you know? But then it's loose up there, and at this point, you're unscrewing it off those little threads. And those threads aren't very big, if you re will remember. Okay, I've got my candle pretty much centered inside this opening. I got the little hook for the latch there, so I want to face that out. And I've got this, uh, oh, see that swag is almost, almost too tall. 
too big. It's hitting this garland thing underneath. Hopefully, I don't have to go back to the store and put some and get a smaller one so that this is up a little higher because I obviously I don't want it to rest on the bottom here, do I? Look at that. It just barely misses the bottom and it's swinging all by itself. You see that? And that's what I want. It's swinging like that because I don't I didn't want to rest it on there and that's another reason why I put it on a swag. You don't want to leave that up there in one little bump and off the counter it goes. Okay now I'm anxious to go back down and turn it on. Let's do it. construction light down and that's why I like this grab bar I can just slide my hand down instead of grab and then try to grab something else you might need to get one of those for your steep ladder oh yeah okay the moment of truth there it is not nice that's where that's gonna live and when it's dark all the way just for a little bit of backlighting some ambiance you could have that and see I'm gonna end up installing that other one over there in the corner with the swag another swag hook but I've got to get a chain and you know how I'm gonna install that one in the sheetrock remember okay Okie dokie. Let's see if I can't get that turned off now. There it is. Nice little remote control. All right. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Well, that's all I got time for, but I'll be back with more videos.